I was given the opportunity to shoot hundreds of thousands of dollars with the guns at Demolition Ranch in Texas. I made it my mission to shoot only guns from the video game franchise Call of Duty to see how the real life versions of these guns compare to the game's version. Starting with one of the most loved guns in history, the M1 Garand. In the Call of Duty universe, the M1 Grand is seen in action from World War II to futuristic warfare in the years 2054, 2065, and the war in space in the year 2187. In real life, the M1 Grand was used in World War II, the Korean War, and the start of the Vietnam War. The M1 Grand was served on many fronts of World War II. The M1 Grand changed the face of war. It was the first widely issued semi-automatic rifle. The M1 Grand was standard for infantry with over 5.4 million being made. For American troops, this provided a huge advantage over bolt action rifles used by many other nations. American soldiers trusted how fast, reliable, and accurate it was. The M1 Grand used an 8 round M block clip, not a detachable mag like most weapons use. In real life, I was struggling so hard to load this clip in. Oh, I can't do it. When the last round is fired, the entire clip is ejected with an iconic ping sound. Oh, yeah. That was satisfying. Fighting alongside the M1 Grand was the Thompson submachine gun. Ooh, that felt really good. This was America's first and primary submachine gun during World War II. The British also used this weapon in World War II. It shoots over 800 rounds a minute. Around 1.7 million were made. The Thompson was originally designed to clear trenches in World War I, but the war ended before it could see combat. The Thompson was a weapon law enforcement and criminals would use in the 1920s. In Call of Duty, the Thompson is seen in Northern France in 1918, Alcatraz in the 1930s and 1941, World War II, and the futuristic Thompson is seen in the year 2054. The US military was looking for an alternative for the Thompson, so they adopted the grease gun. That is really quiet. Oh my God. I shot the suppressed version of the grease gun, which was actually used by British SOE in World War II for covert operations. Something I thought that was super weird was lifting this hatch right here takes the gun off safety. It was super cheap and fast to make. 622,000 were made. The final US made World War weapon I shot was the Browning automatic rifle. It has a 3D printed grip on it. Ooh. The BAR was originally designed to be shot from the hip and from the shoulder to clear trenches in World War I. The BAR was turned into a support weapon in World War II because of its effective mobile firepower. I got to shoot my all-time favorite submachine gun, the Papash. I felt the kick on that one. Yeah, that was really fast. How many rounds were in that? I think I put like 25 in there. Oh, that was fast, yeah. yeah. This was one of the most popular submachine guns during World War II. The Papash was created by the Soviet Union. This gun was widely issued to Soviet soldiers during World War II. Around 6 million Papashes were made. The Russians would overwhelm their enemies and mass numbers of men armed with the Papash. The Papash helped drive the Soviet Union to victory in World War II. Its high rate of fire made it lethal, shooting about 900 to 1,000 rounds a minute. The Papash had a drum mag, but soldiers didn't like them because they were heavy and annoying to carry around. They preferred stick mags. But in Call of Duty, players preferred the drum mag. No, mommy. Hold your fucking friend's hands. Up. In Call of Duty, this weapon is seen in World War II, the Cold War, and futuristic warfare. In reality, this weapon was seen used in World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. I shot one of the weirdest guns from World War II, the Owen gun. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that was soft. It's an Australian built submachine gun and their soldiers absolutely love this gun. This was one of the best submachine guns of World War II. The Owen gun was super reliable and could survive harsh conditions. The magazine was designed to be on top so soldiers could shoot easier while prone and avoid mud and dirt jamming the weapon. In real life, the iron sights on the right side of the gun, but in Call of Duty, they are located on the left side of the gun. Iron sights on this are crazy. In Call of Duty, players hated the iron sights and magazine, so they put an optic sight and 72 round mag on the Owen gun. You suck. Oh, what a rat, dude. He Hey, you're an accident. Only 45,000 Owen guns were produced. If you like World War II guns just like me, download Enlisted. Enlisted is a squad-based FPS that perfectly combines PvP and PvE combat. This game is free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. You take command of squads of AI-controlled soldiers and lead them into massive historical World War II battles against other players controlling their own squad. You can play as the United States, Germany, the Soviet Union, and Japan, which lets you unlock hundreds of weapons, tanks, and aircraft you can all customize. I personally love that this game sticks to a historical narrative. Utilize your combat rules effectively and lead your comrades to victory. For those of you who have already played, Enlisted Enlisted has recently received a huge meta game update, introducing research trees for weapons and vehicles, a matchmaker based on the equipment, and various other improvements to gameplay. This is all developed in collaboration with the Enlisted community. There has never been a better time to explore the new era of Enlisted. Download Enlisted for free on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC using my link in the description below or the pinned comment. If you register a new PC account, you get a free bonus pack once you log in. On the other side of the war was the iconic MP40. Woo! 
Germany created this weapon with over 1 million being produced. The Germans made this their primary submachine gun in World War II. Soldiers in the French resistance also used this weapon. The MP40 was seen used all across the world. The MP40 was reliable, compact, easy to use, versatile, and long range in real life and Call of Duty. Get his bitch ass. The mierda, wey. Oh. Ay, wey, puta, me asustó. Puta, man. Oh my god, you, you guys are rats and idiots. I shot a suppressed version as well, which is super rare in World War II. Suppressed MP40s were experimented with for stealthy operations, but were pretty much never seen in the war. In real life, the MP40 was used in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War, but in Call of Duty, this gun is seen in France in 1918, World War II, the future war in the 2040s, 2054, and 2065. The M60. This was the most American gun from the Vietnam War I've ever shot. <laughs> The M60 is super versatile. It's used on vehicles, tripods, bipods, mounted on the shoulder, and hip firing. The M16 was amazing for suppressing fire. A small but incredible detail in Call of Duty that I love is when the gun is firing, the metallic splitling pieces fly out of the gun just like it does in real life. I shot the most recognizable weapon that is all around the world today, the AK-47. <laughs> In 1948, this gun was born. The AK-47 is the most popular assault rifle of all time. There are over 75 million AK-47s around the world. It's a very reliable weapon that is so cheap to make. Oh my god, bro. Oh, shit. There's people right here? Fucking weirdos. These are ass. Bro, this guy's are bozo. In the real world, this weapon was seen in the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, and from there it became utilized in so many conflicts around the world for over 65 years. In Call of Duty, the AK-47 is first seen in the 1960s. From there, it is seen in basically every conflict around the world in Call of Duty. Baikonur, Laos, Vietnam, the Netherlands, Turkey, Germany, Ukraine, Ural Mountains, Cuba, Russia, Sovetsky Island, Angola, Afghanistan, Nicaragua, Panama, Chernobyl, Uzbekistan, Saudi Arabia, Azerbaijan, Afghanistan again 30 years later, Kazakhstan, Brazil, the United States, Georgia and Russian border, Russia again, India, Sierra Leone, Germany, Somalia, Paris, Czech Republic, Dubai, Piccadilly, Verdant, Uzbekistan 20 years later, Moldova, Georgia, somewhere on earth in 2054, and somewhere on earth again in 2187. I also shot the weapon that has faced off heavily against the AK-47 throughout time, the M16A1. The M16 was created by the US and first seen in the Vietnam War. Soldiers hated the weapon because it was prone to jamming a lot and had tons of issues, but in 1968, the M16A1 was created. Troops widely accepted this weapon because it was super reliable. Of course, bro. How come? Away. This weapon continued to serve all the way up to the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. In Call of Duty, this gun is seen in the Vietnam War, the Cold War, Invasion of Panama in 1989, Modern Warfare. It's also seen in Futuristic Warfare in the 2040s, 2054, and 2065. I shot the infamous 725 shotgun from the Modern Warfare series. Oh, that felt strong. Ooh. In real life, this gun is used for sporting and hunting with no military usage on record, but in Call of Duty, this gun is designed to one-shot players. What the fuck? I shot one of the most pointless but coolest guns ever, the Desert Eagle. Oh, that's nice. This gun is not practical at all. It's just not a very good handgun. It was a complete flop. The gun is too heavy, too expensive, and completely impractical. It was never seen in war, but in Call of Duty, this gun is used throughout the modern warfare. Getting a one-shot kill with the Eagle is such a satisfying feeling in Call of Duty. Bro, yo, What? Yo. God. Damn, Sam. This is on your right. Yo, Jeez. what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, he's buying. Damn. Ain't no fucking way, bro. I swear to God. Oh my God. Oh my fucking. Damn. I shot one of video games' most loved guns, the MP5 submachine gun. The MP5 began being used by security services, military, and police. The MP5 submachine gun is said to be the gun for the good guys. The MP5 gained massive popularity after SAS soldiers stormed the Iranian siege in London armed with MP5s. They successfully rescued 19 hostages from bad guys. This submachine gun is still used today. There's no, I knew there was a f***ing rat. Oh my god, what was that? No! You're a f***ing camping piece of s***. In Call of Duty, it's all action in the Vietnam War, the Cold War, Modern Warfare, and the future war in space. No SMG could be what the MP5 could offer until body armor started becoming a thing. The Bullpup P90's 5.7mm ammo could pierce armor while other SMGs couldn't. 
Oh. The P90 submachine gun was created by Germany. The P90 was compact. You're a bitch. Lightweight. Bro, what the f kind of this gun, dude? Had a high capacity magazine and armor piercing capability. The most interesting part about this gun is the magazine is horizontally inserted through the top of the gun. Police units and special units use the P90 all over the world. In Call of Duty, this gun is seen in Modern Warfare, 2040s, 2065, and 2187. Another bullpup gun I shot was the AUG. This bullpup assault rifle comes with integrated optic made by Austria. This was adopted in 1977. The August seen in both smaller and larger conflicts. Why the f what? Oh, melted right. me. Look at this bitch in the corner. Sorry, bitch. Bro! Oh my goodness. Bro. Yeah, your mom sucks. God. Come on, bro. The most modern weapon I shot was the Scorpion Evo 3 S2 Micro. The Scorpion Evo was adopted by the Czech forces in 2015. As of now, this weapon is used by the military and law enforcement agencies in many countries. It's a very modern gun. In the Call of Duty universe, this weapon is seen in modern and futuristic warfare. Oh my god, I didn't miss one shot! Ah, you bitch. My god, how the f*** do they know I was- yeah, unfortunate. Well, I'm lagging too much to be streaming tonight, so I'm gonna end it unfortunate. This video was possible because of enlisted, so be sure to download this awesome World War II game for free today on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation with my link in the description and the pinned comment. Some of the guns you saw in this video could be used on enlisted. Don't forget you get the bonus pack for registering with my link that gives you multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Never seen again, didn't even make it. Oh, well, I got a shovel in my basement. I